Hello! Today we're going to talk about resonant frequency generators because that's what we are. We've just never been told that we are resonant frequency generators and we control it both out into the universe and the universe back into us. Hope you like my hat. It's part of the uh, illusion, the dream that we're living right now, because to be honest, you'd have to be asleep to believe it. And what it says on my mask is, love heals all, with a little smiley face. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's get rid of this crap, because it's not really real anyway. So, <clears throat> resonant frequency, do you know what that is? It's the frequency of the earth, which is 7.83 hertz. Now, in order to stay healthy, science has already proven that 7.83 is what keeps us healthy and uh, it's so crazy there is so much interference with the electromagnetic field right now from cell phones and all the microwaves flying around and radiation that we're having a hard time being in 7.83 And what is 7.83 in the brain? Alpha. Alpha brainwave is exactly the same 7.83 as the Earth's resonant vibration, its frequency. And when we get away from that, you take that away from us, we get sick. That's a fact. It's already proven. And it was proven way back. I believe it was in the 30s. I'm going to post a video that talks about this. It's a documentary. Very powerful. I'm also going to post because uh, our frequency obviously affects the field, right? This is electromagnetic. And we're breathing that in, we're pulling that into our body, and our body is in tune with the electromagnetic frequency of 7.83, which is kind of like the harmonious frequency of the world. At least the world we live in. Now, somewhere here, I thought I just had it. I must put something on top. Okay. Now, have you seen me show these before? And these are frequencies. And when you shift a frequency, it comes up with a brand new frequency, right? Well, what I haven't shown you is in between this is a lower or a higher frequency right here, and it is moving, right, into the next frequency chaos and disorder is right here and if we're stuck in the frequency of chaos and disorder and we cannot match the harmony the tones that we need in our body this is what we will experience this right here is a frequency that is going to this next one wait a minute which is this one So this garbled up mess, which is salt on a vibrating plate, I'm going to post this video so you can watch it, comes out to that. And if this frequency, I mean these are a match, these, these work together right here. Well for every one that I show you, like this one.
or this one, they all went through that same, they all go through the same process as we're moving from one frequency to another. And the same is true for us. We are resonant, resonance, frequency, masters. Once we know how, we can change our frequency to anything we want, any time we want. But it takes focus and concentration. And, and being no one, no where, no place, no time. We have to relax to the point that the illusion of who we are dissolves. And when that happens, good things happen. As we know, this uh, is the aura. This is an electromagnetic field around us. It's a force field that protects us, just like the force field around the Earth protects the Earth. Same thing. It's the Earth's aura. And the electromagnetic field, all the resonance, okay, that is coming into our life, that is coming into our body, has to come through this. It has to come through there. And you're in the middle right there, and this is the sun, and this is the earth. So there's a frequency there all the time, and that is 7.83. And when our harmony is off, what does it affect? Lymphatic system. Now, many of you have seen this many times. The resonant frequency that's right here is what attunes us inside. And if we get too much here, because all our conflict, all of our conflict is here. It's not in the outside world. That's a projection of our reality that's going on in here. And when we're confused, we're, we're stuck in between frequencies. And we can't think right. We can't move properly. All these things start to happen to us because we're stuck in the middle between two frequencies. And help is a solid frequency. We're moving up and down by our diet, by the people we're influenced by, our circle of influence, uh, what comes through this, this eyeball that comes into our homes. They're using that to map our minds. And by the way, I don't know if you know this or not, they already have a chip, Elon Musk, the Darth Vader of the future Darth Vader of the world if he gets what he wants because he will have the ability to control every electric car he makes. Turn it on, shut it off, tell it where it's going to go, what it's going to do. That will all be from command control, right? And he can do it from his place right here on earth or he can do it in outer space where you can't get to him and he can do whatever he wants. So those are the things that we're actually working against right now in this resonance frequency field. This chip in your head, the young kids are so excited about this right now. It is incredible. This chip will make you your wireless connection to your computer. I want you to get the gravity of what I'm saying here. You will be able to think and turn your computer on and move through it through thought, which is a program. And if it can control your computer from your brain, information can be put in your brain through that chip that alters your view of reality. This is so huge. 
they're finding ways now to make us the wireless connection that they control 24 7. think about that do you want your children brought up as a computer chip because we're receiving and projecting vibration all the time and once they hack that system they control everything you do they can make you happy they can make you sad they can make you sick they can make you hungry they can it's anything anything once it's in the brain and we are electrical and we're a Wi-Fi connected to the outside world we are connected but right now it's not by man it's by nature but once man does that or mankind you won't be able to do nothing they'll even know what you're thinking which brings up thought police because they've been they already have thought police they'll arrest you before you commit the crime because of how you're thinking they know everything that you will do because it's all being recorded right directly from your brain I'm not trying to scare you but this is where we're headed and I don't want that for our children and if they chip you there will be no place on earth that you'll be able to go that they won't know exactly where you are within five feet they're already using it in the military okay they know where each person is once they go over the the enemy's borders they know within five feet where every person over there is that's on our side that's amazing so <clears throat> We can change our frequency at will and we do all the time anyway anytime a circle of influence somebody new comes up we act different with different groups of people do you ever notice that we're we're on the edge of it right now and it's our focus and our ability to understand that we control frequency in us that's it right now at this moment and I'm not saying that there aren't ways around what they have in mind but we're gonna to have to be pretty smart figured out because once they control us they can control us from thinking those thoughts so this is it right now this is the time it's time to get busy meditate 11 o'clock we just did our meditation hopefully everybody around the world 11 o'clock wherever it is your time not not one spot in the world your time 11 o'clock in the morning at night do a meditation about healing the world raising the vibration the resonant frequency okay 7.83 is the frequency of life itself 7.83 can create life from something that is not alive that's how powerful it is and in the cities the electromagnetic smog that's around us 7.83 cannot even be detected if you put people in an area and they only did this with the young because the elderly get it the young they put them in underground where there was no resonant frequency and within hours they would get sick dizziness nausea and then they had it set up so that <clears throat> they could pipe 7.83 into the room and most completely recovered some not so much but they all improved and some all symptoms went away that's how powerful 7.83 is and when you uh, and I have personally heard this when you do ayahuasca you hear that frequency all of a sudden it comes into your eardrums and it is amazing 
It's just a harmonic tone of 7.83 and it, it just vibrates and, and you get completely in tune with that because DMT puts you in a state of alpha brainwave. And that's your, your creativity, your productivity, your imagination. That's all in theta. And it, when it connects, when you drop your brainwave to alpha, did I say theta? To alpha, and you connect with 7.83, the whole creativity, all information in the universe will come to you. You don't have to chase it. You don't have to look up in books. You're not, this is what Nikol, Nikolai Tesla said he used to gain the knowledge that he had to advance all the things that he was doing. And we all have that power. We just have to get into it. So, before you build yourself an aluminum hat, which I will be wearing in public, by the way, with my mask that says, Love Heals All, and a little smiley face, and I'll probably put a bunch of stuff on my shirt, because I haven't been outside. We have mandatory masks started yesterday. But we're being duped. And we have to stand up. I know, Jim. Not many people are relaying this information. But it's so true. They don't want us to, to understand how powerful we are. We're atoms. We're made of atoms. That's how powerful we are. You know, when you look at the destruction of an atom used by military forces, it's devastating. Well, you have that power in you. And you can rise above all this crap that's coming through that tube into your central nervous system. Into your second eye okay this is something that everything has been just reversed just a little tiny bit and it throws us so far off when a police officer reads to you you have the right to remain silent and all, you know and all that crap they give you right do you understand these uh I can't remember what they are, but as they are read to you. Well, in school, we're taught up. Do you understand that? Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Do you know what that means in the law? When you say, I understand, you give up your sovereignty in America, and you just stepped from being free into being in a citizen of the United States of America, a corporation, that's why we have a president, a CEO and chief, which every corporation has, right? You give up your sovereign rights as a human being and you are under them in a court of law. So when you go into a court of law and you've said, I understand these rights as they have been read to me, that's what it is. You're at the whim of the court. That's why you don't want to be going to court. And if you have third parties calling you about debt, tell them they have to write. Because they can say what they want on the phone. And if you record them, it's illegal. But they record you, that's fine. You can even ask them. Uh... I'm going to record this. They'll probably say they're going to hang up, and if they do, hang up. They'll probably never hear from them again. But tell them you're going to record it and see what they do. Because they can't. Because they'll be held accountable in a court of law. 
And if there is no contract, there is no law. Not by us. That's their rules, not ours. But we're just not being told that we have those rules that we can do that. It's like when people say, I plead the fifth. Well, they'll tell you that makes you guilty. No, that's the law. I get to plead the fifth because I don't want to incriminate myself. And we are being so programmed. It, it, it's just mind-boggling. <clears throat> when you watch a TV show, I haven't had TV in 35 years, but it's never changed. It's always the same. Death, murder, rape, uh, burglary, uh, citizen's arrest, uh, uh, arresting citizens, I should say, not citizen's arrest. That's a different subject. And it just turns it over and over and over. From the time we're born till right now, you see commercials to buy things. Who's doing what that's illegal? You're led into a financial system that is there to drain your livelihood. It's insane. People get in a in a, a interrogation thing, right? On television, we're not supposed to talk to anybody until we talk to a lawyer. But every single show, when they put somebody in the interrogation room, they can't shut up. They tell them everything, more than they need to. You never, never say more than you need to. They ask a question, shorter the answer, the better. Because they're programming you to spill your guts. Not just on yourself, but on your neighbors. How many people in Walmart do you think are qualified to handle a situation when you say, oh, I just saw something suspicious in the parking lot. But that's what they're doing. It's crazy. They deny everything like they're doing right now, right? They're just pushing numbers around and, and holding up these aluminum hat ideas. until it sticks in our heart and in our mind and then we manifest it into reality for them. It's crazy. So we are resonance frequency generators and we can move our frequencies up and down anytime we want to. That's how powerful we are. It's happening anyway. You're happy, you're sad, you're uh, angry, you're static, you're whatever it is. These are frequencies. And they're generated from the heart, where all energy is generated. The earth generates an electromagnetic field. That's the earth's heart. Our heart generates an electromagnetic field, and that's obviously our heart. And when those two are in sync, the heart of the earth and your heart, the frequencies are in tune, you, there's no way they can't stop you. That's why your energy never dies. You're 96% energy and 4% matter. And everything that we're taught to absorb and we surrender to, we are affected by. And if we don't surrender to that frequency, because nothing can live at a frequency that is the electromagnetic field, the only way that we can be affected by one of these weird things is if our energy is low enough for it to enter our field. Other than that, it can't enter the field. Because we're the power. Think about how many billions of electromagnetic fields are out there. And we have maybe a handful. 
Maybe. Well, why aren't the others getting in? We're not aware. We're not open to it. So, it can't get in. Well, what's getting in is creating the fear that's making our immune system weak. That system right there. I mean, even science, even during this whole thing, if you have a good immune system, you have nothing to worry about. But they telling you how to get a good immune system? Nope. They're pounding the fear. They're beating the drums of fear into our trying to. They're not going to do it in my body. I want nothing to do with these guys. The further away they are, the better. My resonance frequency is mine. And I control it. Not them. The only way they could control it is if you don't know that you can control it. That's why you're not being told. And the other thing that's throwing off, if I can find it here, is our, uh, there it is. This is a chart that I designed and it's online. It's, it's uh, free, it's right here on Facebook. When you change your frequency, you alter this. And this is, this is light. This is your generator right here. And all those things around it are, are liquid. And they flow. And they let the energy flow through your body. Because energy must move. That's its whole deal. That's all it does. It's constantly moving. Creating wind and and life and it's just and it really is that simple it's crazy I know so I'm not going to go quietly into the night let's put it that way and I hope you don't either you know at 11 o'clock in the morning and at night I will be meditating and this is going on around the entire world and if you've never seen the study they took 200, uh, I believe they were monks, but they were lifetime meditators, right? And they put them in Washington, D.C., you know, where crime is the highest in America, which is not part of America. It's its own country, Washington, D.C. They write the rules for America, but they don't live by the rules for America because they're not part of America. And there's two other places where the military of the world. The UN is the police of the world. And the Vatican, London, is the financial center of the world. So we can't do anything without them. But I'm going to get out of here. That's the triad, by the way. Neither one of those places are connected with the country that they're in. They're independent of everything. So uh, you might want to keep that in mind, speaking of frequencies, right? So uh, I will see you in the next video. All right? Be strong. Be safe. Make your own aluminum hat and your own things if you want. Put stuff on your t-shirts and have some fun with this. Now, many people are not going to see the humor in this. So you've got to brace yourself. But it's your opportunity. The reason I'm doing this is it's an opportunity for them to give me a hard time and me to ask them what they see in their future. Do you want your kids to grow up in a world where they're chipped and monitored and used like robots? Because I don't. And I'm going to do everything I can to share everything that I can to help people understand just how powerful they are. And how weak the opposition is because if they weren't doing this, there's no way they couldn't control us. It's impossible. And we see it in people all the time. They're, they're doing their own thing. And 
they're strong and they're focused and they're moving in one direction. And a lot of those people are billionaires and they're creating the world we're living in right now. And I don't know that it would be worse, but it's more control over your mind. And that is the problem. They want to put a chip in your head to control the frequencies that you vibrate at. And when you're not doing what they want you to do, or you're not thinking what they want you to think, they just download another program. And that may sound far-fetched to many of you, but believe me, it's happening. Because we are wireless. That's where wireless came from. I've said this many times. Nothing has ever been invented that didn't res resemble human beings. Computers of the brain, cars of the legs, uh, throwing things to give us more leverage to throw further or to, to, uh, to lift things. It's all leverage. It's all electrical. And we need to learn how to control our frequency. And to get out in nature, because nature is where 7.38 is found the most abundant to help our bodies heal. That's why it feels so good when you go in the woods and, it feel, and you start to feel bad when you're in the city. You're being bombarded with electromagnetic fields, the smog of the electromagnetic fields. So be good, be strong, stay focused, do your breath work. Matter of fact, let's do a, a long, deep breath right now, just to kind of center ourselves. Just put your attention on centering your body. Calm, cool, collected, focused, okay? In through the nose, out through the mouth. Nice, long breath. We're going to hold at the top, hold at the bottom. Make sure to get that abdomen involved. And just feel your body relax. Just tell it, relax. Deeper into relaxation. More relaxation. Exhale. With your breath out, hold it. Inhale. Just feel your whole body relax when you exhale. Mm. Feels so good. And whenever you feel your frequency rising to a, to a level where you feel uncomfortable, take a minute, refocus, nice long breath. Excuse me. Give your body the opportunity to relax. We're going to do one more breath. This one we're going to ask the body to release any tension in the body, vibrational dis-ease in the body, to let it go. And as you're doing this, because this is, this is vibration, this is frequency that's trapped in the body, and this is what hydration and movement is about because it starts to shake that up and it, it, and it unsticks it. And when it's ready, it will start to bubble to the surface right up through your throat and you can exhale and release it. And you, but you have to tell your body to do it because you were the one that put it in there. Whether somebody did something to you that made you do that is irrelevant. Because it could have been 10 years ago and the same chemicals and the same response is still coming up because you haven't released the emotional reaction to it. You'll still have the memory. You just won't have the emotional reaction, which is affecting your resonance frequency. And it's helping you stay unhealthy because you're stuck in that, in that weird pattern between frequencies. 
that's causing chaos in your life. One more breath. In through the nose. A smile and hold at the top. And when you exhale, tell your body, you can be doing this even during the inhale. I give my body permission to release anything that is causing dis-ease in my body. Let it go. And just keep repeating it in your mind. I want my body to release any dis-ease frequency, anything that's vibrating that's making my body experience a experience this ease I choose to let it go I give my body permission to release it now it may take a while to catch up with that it happens to me all the time now but I had to work my way into that by repeating it over and over and it will set you free from the frequencies that are causing the disturbance, the dis-ease in your body. When that goes, you may find yourself laughing after. And as it's leaving, keep telling it, I give you permission to release this. I don't want this anymore. I don't need this anymore. Let it go. And as you're repeating that, you're sending that vibration through your body and you're telling your body what you want. And you want to release that out into the universe. The universe is waiting for it. And you will find peace and harmony when you do. Alright, love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. <clears throat> Remember to wear your hat and the mask that does nothing against the virus. This virus does not jump from person to person. Six feet apart is about the new technology that's coming to run your computers and your cell phones. It looks something like this, but that's what it's for. This does nothing. You get it on the outside of your mask, you touch a mask, rub your eye, done. This is about social distancing, so this can figure out who you are and where you are. It's all it's about. And we're being put through this for that reason. So, love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Make a hat, something cool. Make a mask, something cool. <laughs>